Hello, this is Pastor Ben Andrew. I want to share a very big secret with us today from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, and Romans chapter 8, verse 28. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 says, Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Wow. That simply means if you are a lover of God, your life is secure. You are settled. Why is it eyes have not seen ears and what God has prepared? Which means whatever you are imagining, God has something greater than that for you. And then in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, it says something I love so very much. And we know, listen, it didn't say maybe, we know that all things work together for the good of them that love you and accord according to his purpose it simply means that no matter the situation or the circumstance around you it is going to turn around to profit you for your good ah thank you lord i love the love of god listen to this you know what i found out god loves you so much that sometimes the discomfort around you or the challenges you see, you are the reason because God is using them to rearrange, to bring to you what he has prepared for you. I remember there was a day in our organization and I was thinking there was, there was a restructuring and everybody was like, ah, why this kind of restructuring? Why this? And then the Holy Ghost spoke to me. You are the reason for the restructuring. Ah, how? When God is going to lift you up, he creates a situation. Listen to this. That's why I say all things work together for good. Therefore, hear this. If you truly love God, never complain about any circumstance because it is going to be for your good. Can you imagine if David was to complain that Goliath, why did you come up? Goliath came so that David can shine. So that David can be recognized. So that David can get to the throne. You see that? So when you are a lover of God, God goes beyond your plans, your thinking, to give you the best in life. Therefore, I like to counsel you. Please love God and genuinely so. But listen, I'm not talking about love for God by lips. I'm talking about love for God that shows. And one of the proof of love for God is love humanity, love neighbors, be kind to people, do everything possible to help people. It's a proof that you love God. God bless you because I see that situation overturning for your good. In Jesus' name, amen.